Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry if you can hear. Damn it, I need a wipe. Hold on, one second. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise, like chairs moving, my mom is cleaning. So I'm sorry about that. But today I'm going to be filming. I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to be filming my top five blush, like my top five blushes. Um, So I thought it would be interesting to do. I feel like I have actually filmed this video before. I don't know if I actually uploaded it on my channel. I don't know, but I'm just going to film it again anyways. So, yeah. What's on my lips, it was in my last video. This is the new NYX Butter Lipstick in Razzle Fiesta. Um, freaking obsessed. Like, literally. Cannot deal without this in my life. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with the drugstore ones first and then go to high end. And I'm sorry if this is going to be bothering you. Kind of has to stay there, so. Because the sun would be all up in my face if it didn't. Alright, so, drugstore one first. And this is in, like, no particular order. Like, this isn't my top one. Like, that would be even harder to do. So, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, I just had, like, okay. This is the NYX blush. It, the writing's kind of off. This is the NYX blush in peach. Ooh, peach right there. I love this blush. If I want a really nice pop of color. It's looking up a little bit more. There we go. There's a true color. I'm going to swatch all these for you as well. These are a little bit powdery. Nothing like crazy or anything. But they are extremely... I have um, two NYX blushes like this. And I have a cream one from them as well. But these are really nice pigmented, but not too pigmented where you need to be super duper careful. I don't really like that in a blush. I have a couple of them like that. And I just kind of want to, you know, dig in there and hope for the best. Um, But they really blend nicely. They stay all day. Well, not all day. They stay a good six hours and then they're pretty much like fading away. But other than that, for like $6 at Ulta, amazing product. Or at NYXcosmetics.com. Okay, another cheap or drugstore blush is the e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. Looks like this. And it's just, it's coming up like, like really orange. I don't know if you can tell right there. The only thing I don't enjoy about these blushes is I actually had to do it with two of them. I have two of these e.l.f. blushes. And they start to form a... Um, you can probably see, like, the marks in it. They start to form, like, a crust on top of it where you can barely get any color payoff. So I kind of had to go in with a Q-tip and kind of swipe it away. But there's a shade right there. You can see it's just a really nice coral. It's coming up more, like, orange. It's definitely not an orange. It's a coral, and, and the coral is, like, orange or, like, a peachy pink. This is an amazing color. It definitely does not last as long as the NYX ones. If I were to choose between NYX and e.l.f., I would definitely go with, sorry, NYX, because they last longer. This probably only lasts like four hours, maybe two hours on your cheeks. It's kind of a bummer about them, but I absolutely love those blushes. Last drugstore one, or kind of drugstore, you can get this online at beachcosmetics.com. This is the Beach Cosmetics Lilac Blush Duo. <sighs> love 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 this product i'm obsessed with the blush it's not very pigmented that's what i kind of like that's what i like in a blush i want it to be decently pigmented where i don't have to you know scrape i just have to go kind of a little bit heavier on it there's a shade right there it's a beautiful just purpley pale pink it's gorgeous it's it's got a little bit um by the way the NYX one is matte and the e.l.f. one just has like a sheen to it, but the um, Lilac Blush Duo is, uh, it has like a, sh a shine to it. It's an amazing product and it also comes with a great highlighter. Again, not too pigmented. Let me see right there. Sorry, the lighting is not the best, but I love this product. It doesn't last super long on your cheeks, but it is a nice product to have. So... What I have on my cheeks today as blush, I actually have on some bronzer, but also this blush. Obsessed. I'm probably, I just thought about this, I'm probably going to film my January favorites after this. So this is definitely going to be in that. Um, but this is the Tarte. Um, I think the price on this is like, I want to say, 
I want to say 24 but I know it's not. I think it's like $32. Uh, but this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Exposed. It's just a really nice neutral shade. I have absolutely nothing like this. And I don't, I'm freaking obsessed. I really the hell am. And it's not too pigmented again, which I freaking love. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's like, <clears throat> <coughs> sorry. It's like this perfect um, neutral shade. Like if you're having like that makeup I'm having on today, like I have a full face on today. But if you're having like a bright lip and a neutral eye, because you want to focus more on the lips, this is a great shade to go for. Even if you have bright both, like, you know, or just everything neutral, this color will go with any freaking look. It's so neutral, but it has that hint of pink where it doesn't look like a bronzer. Obsessed. That's freaking all dang day on the cheeks. Fantastic. Next product is the, in this palette, I think they still sell this. I'm not sure. I know it is limited edition, though. This is the NARS Guy Bourdain palette. This thing was $65, but I got it as a Christmas present. <laughs> um, but I'm talking about this shade right here. Oh, my goodness. I'm obsessed with this shade. It, I, I know that there is Orgasm and Deep Throat in here, and this is Laguna right here. I don't know which one is Orgasm or Deep Throat. I'm thinking... I'm thinking the deep throat is this one, but I, I don't know, but I just like this one right here. <laughs> it's a really beautiful shade. Um, again, these aren't too pigmented. I actually bought, like, after I got this palette, like, the week, like, the next week, we went to the mall to go shopping with the money we got, and I got another NARS blush in Amore. Love it, but I haven't worn it enough to say it's my favorite. So that is the shade right there. It's a beautiful, it's actually quite similar to um candid coral it's just not as orange tone it's more of a peachy color freaking beautiful if you don't know again what blush to wear it goes good with like every look i've tried it with so love this palette another one i really like um actually more is really really similar to this shade and more is just a little bit deeper and stuff so yeah um but that was the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it um so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching me. And I can't wait to share 2014 with you guys. I meant to say that in my 2013 Best of Beauty thing, but it, I forgot. So I can't wait for that. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.